Today, we'll see Dave go back in time. Ah, what's that? Ow. Yo. Whatever that is. And, and we'll meet a kid who owns his own dinosaur. T anyone? Whoa, 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 whoa. We'll search for the world's greatest taco. Oh, you? And we'll also show you how not to build a go-kart. A spaceship. Okay. It's out of control. And now here's your host. That host with the most. That guy that everybody loves. Including the great-looking checker at the market on 5th and Main. She likes this host a whole lot. <laughs> What are you doing? I'm introducing me. Uh, our host. So <laughs> hurry up! Machine is broken. Oh, what happened? Somebody stepped on it. Hmm. Oh, dear, this is terrible. Who would break the hurry up machine? It is me. Whoa. Well, I didn't mean it, Dave. You see, I was practicing my new tap shoes out, uh -huh. and I was tapping over here extra loud and aggravating, then I was over here tapping on the sidewalk, and then I was over here tapping on the chair, and then I jumped up on the desk, and I was tapping faster and faster, and then I broke the machine. <laughs> well, Jess, look, look, look. We'll just get Waldo to fix it or something. But Waldo can't fix it. He's fixing the comedy computer, and he's putting in a new joke program. Now, what, what is this? We don't need discs. Lucky, lucky. I thought, well, then, uh, well, then I'll fix it. I, I know a little bit about electronics. I just you don't know anything about electronics. You can't even fix the toaster in your car. Toaster? Well, Dave, you have to fix it because we have this letter here from Brad who wants his school day speeded up. Well, I think it's a fantastic idea and we should really help him out, but well, we can't because Diz broke the hurry up machine. Well, look, I'll just tinker around here and hook some of these wires up, and you put the letter in front of me so I can read it, and uh, well, we'll take care of it. Dave, do you really think this is going to work? Oh, I'm, I'm positive. Yes? Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, dear Dave, sometimes when I'm in class, it seems like the school day will never end. I just wish there was some way to hurry up the rest of the day. Well, it looks like you could use a hurry up, so let's hurry up. just have to know a little something about electronics. <sighs> <laughs> oh, no! Now it's broken forever, and it's all my fault! Oh, I swear, Dave, I'll never dance again! Ah, uh, no problem, Diz. I'll just hook this wire to that one, and that one right there. Yikes, Dave! We're going backwards in the show! Well, I guess that wasn't right. Oh, no! People already saw this part. Not if they came late. Let's see, I'll try to get us back.
Wow, this is great. Diz, not only do we have a hurry-up machine, but we have a time machine, too. A what? Hey, Dave, I hear you got a time machine there. I sure do. Watch. Hey, Dave, I hear you got a time machine there. I sure do. Watch. Hey, Dave, I hear you got a time machine there. I sure do. Watch. Dave, you gotta stop doing this or something bad will happen. I just know it. Oh, this is perfect because I have a story for Angela to cover about a kid who must have his own time machine. Yeah, why? Well, because he has a pet. A pet? What's so unusual about having a pet? Oh, because you gotta see this to believe it. It's great. Mommy, Miss followed me home. Can I keep it? It's alive! <laughs> Angela, scoop quickly here for Out of Control. We're here at the home of Arn Budzinski, who claims to have a very unusual pet. So, Arnold, I hear you have a very interesting pet, isn't that right? That's right, Angela. I have a pet dinosaur. <laughs> oh, Arnold, as we all know, dinosaurs have been extinct for about 65 million years or something, so you must be pulling my leg, huh? I bet uh, what you really have is a, a pet lizard or something, right? It's a thunder lizard, Angela, a brontosaurus. A brontosaurus, I see. So what is it, a little baby bronto? It's about half grown air, Angela. Hmm, I understand. Then um, where is it? You're leaning on him. I'm leaning. <laughs> I just can't... Oh, Arnold, I, I just can't believe this. I mean, you, you, you really do have a, a brontosaurus. He's, uh... He's, uh... Green. Yeah. Uh, well, um... Well, what do you feed him? Uh, grass leaves. Mm -hmm. And how do you take care of him? Mm -hmm. Oh, I'll just toss him off now and again. Mm, I see. And, 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 and where does Brutus sleep? Anywhere he wants to. Oh, hi, Mr. Reynolds. Hi, Arnold. Hi, Brutus. Well, Arnold, I, I, I'm, I'm flabbergasted. Where did Brutus come from? The prehistoric period. Well, I know that, Arnold, but, but how did he get here in your front yard? Oh, can I trust you? You can give me the scoop, Arnold. Well, you see, these alien zookeepers had time travel to Earth and were bringing these dinosaurs back to the planet when they were attacked by pirates. They dropped these dinosaurs right in the Johnson's backyard. Man, they were shooting at each other with ray guns and everything. The, the Johnsons? No, the space pirates. Oh. I saw the whole thing. I climbed out of my bed and Laura Brutus into my yard with a bushel of lawn clippings. Oh, Arnold, that's, that's simply unbelievable. It's true. Well, I guess it would be true. I mean, where else would you get a... Brontosaurus. <laughs> Cute fellow, isn't he? <laughs> well, but Arnold, did, did I hear you mention that there might be more dinosaurs around yeah, here? Yeah, they're around here somewhere. And some is more too friendly. Really? In fact... <gasps> This is, uh, this is Scoop, quickly, we're out of control. Um, uh, uh, we've had got a, a very large a, a dinosaur, a vicious-looking creature with spikes on its nose, and it looks very hungry, and it's, uh, it's, it's coming towards me right now. <laughs> I wouldn't know. We've got to get the story. We've got to get the story. Ah! Uh, back to you, Dave. A2 Brutus. Ah! <laughs> hey, these jokes really kill me. That's an extinct possibility. All right, everyone stand back, and I'll show you what I can do with this thing. <laughs> the white wire with the red wire. Put the red wire with the green wire, the green wire with the blue wire. We've got to get on with the rest of the show. We do? All right, Diz, you announce our next story, and I'll keep working on the machine. <laughs> Dave, I think you should put that on. Is the camera on? There we are over there. How's my makeup look? Anyway, now you've all been to a Mexican food restaurant before, right? And we're in search of the world's best taco. But where can you get a good taco these days? Oh, come on. You all know what a taco is. It has a little bit of a shell, and then it has, like, um, beef in it, and then it has hot sauce in it. Well, we sent our out-of-control camera crew out in search of the world's most excellent taco. So hit it, boys. One out of control special. <laughs>
We're here in Los Angeles in search of the world's best tacos, so we came here to El Cholo Restaurant, which is a wonderful place for dining atmosphere, and of course, wait, wait, wait tell us, hold on, hold on. It, it's, a, it's a wonderful place, the atmosphere, not only is the food good, but of course, this wonderful music. And it's... it's, it's, a, it's, a, hold on. Uh, it's, a, it's a great place to bring your family and your friends, and the atmosphere, the food is superb here, and of course, this wonderful music that gives us that... that Hold on a second, fellas. Why don't, why don't we do one together? Is that okay? Okay, okay, let's try one. Here we go. All right, do you guys know... Uh... I've been here since 1929. Right. And I'll demonstrate you how to make a taco. This, this filling is made out of it's hamburger. Hamburger. Yes. It's a hamburger you taco. Fill it up here. Okay. And then you bring it out here in a little plate. Okay. And then we'll just fill up with whatever you like, <laughs> little lettuce or little cabbage if you like. You know, okay. A little will do good. And then we'll put a little, little carrots out here and we'll give it a little color, which carrots are very good. And some and salsa. salsa. Give it that. Yeah, you put a little, little. We forget the some the cheese. cheese. You don't want to forget the don't cheese. Know, kids love cheese. And then we put a little, a little, a little, little more cheese. cheese. If you like a little more cheese, give it a little color. Ta da! Ta -da. Isn't that a work of art? The world's best taco, I would say. It's great. Yeah, and we'd okay. like to present you, Joe, with this out of control trophy for having the world's best taco. <laughs> Thanks, Joe. Thanks so much. Oh, thank you very much. Mm, thanks. Mm. Well, it was the world's best taco. What's your food today? Oh, it's wonderful. It could be a little hotter, though, I think. Why don't you put a little hot sauce? Okay, just pour some on there. What in there? Sure, there we go. Ooh, look at that, a big pepper in there, too. Mm. Is it better, Dave? Hey, Dave, make me a taco. Hey, 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 stop. Hey, that's a good Oh, quit it. Oh, that's hot. <laughs> that last story was pretty hot, Dave, but this one's even hotter. Wait till you get a load of this guy. It's my latest discovery. That singing musical sensation from south of the border, the singing taco. Oh, I'm a taco, I'm a taco. I'm full of meat and beef and cheese. I'm a taco, I'm a taco. I've got hot sauce on my knees. Thank you, thank you so much. I love each and every one of you personally. Don't go, I have much more. I'd like to sing a song now entitled, What in a Taco? What in a taco? I think you want in a taco. What in a taco? No, no, I have more. Thank you, Mr. Taco. Oh, Buenos Tacos. Oh, see you in the salsa bar. <laughs> Boy, and wasn't that educational. Dave, Dave, did you get a load of that singing taco? Wasn't it great, huh? What style? What finesse? And did you get a load of that cheese? Who was that guy, huh? That creative genius. That fabulous talent. That was my brother, Ern. Ern Burford. What do you think, Dave? Is there a place for him on the show? Couldn't he be a regular? No. We'll be right back after this message. Dave, come on. Give him a chance. All he needs is a break. Think of how proud he is. We were supposed to do the how-to segment five minutes ago. Well, we'll do it now. While I rebuild this machine, why don't you build something, too? Take a look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Say, you want to build something neat? You want to build something you can ride on? You want to build a go-kart? Find some wheels for your go-kart. You know, round things. Oh, uh, no, guys. Oh, hi, Billy. 
Uh, you don't want to watch this. Find some good wheels. The right one shouldn't be too big. Try smaller. Smaller. Not that small. Bigger. <laughs> Billy, I don't see how these guys will ever build a go-kart. Unless you help. Ah, the discovery of the wheel. Find some seats for your go-kart. Good seats should be simple, stable, and streamlined. Thanks, Billy. These guys need all the help they can get. It's looking pretty good, isn't it, guys? Try out the seats. And now you're almost ready to go. Find some protective clothing, just in case you fall. Protecting your head is most important. For these guys, it's a little too late. Now, find a hill. Uh, no, no, not that hill. Billy, don't let them do it. Careful, guys. Okay, guys, meet Billy. You owe him a lot. Now, find a safe hill. Ah, here you go. The thrill of riding a go-kart. Now, before you're going too fast, test your brakes. Yes, go-karts can provide hours and hours of fun for everyone. Well, almost everyone. That's nothing. Wait till you see my collection. Now, here's your pogo cart. For you vegetarians, the mango cart. For you music lovers, the bongo cart. For the rough part of town, there's your Chicago cart. Eat lead, copper! And my personal favorite, the no-go cart. Hmm, I think it needs a tune-up. Hi, Angela Scoop Bickley here with another exclusive scoop for Out of Control. I bet all you folks out there are familiar with the little game called Connect the Dots, aren't you? You know the one I mean, where you just connect the dots to find the hidden picture? Yeah, well, today you're going to see something you've never seen before, because I'm going to show you how to play Connect the Dots using your very own TV set. Yeah! So, first of all, let's bring on the dots. All right. Isn't it amazing what we can do with technology today? It really is amazing. Hey, I Angela. Mean, I really feel looks it. Looks like you've been eating too many pizzas. As a matter of fact, you look like you are a pizza. <laughs> Thank you, Hearn. What a guy. <laughs> All right. Um, now, why don't you begin by placing your finger on the screen exactly where you want the first line to appear. Very good. Now let's get the second line. Okay, how about the third line? All right, very good. I wonder what the picture looks like. I can hardly wait to see it. Okay, let's try one more line. And... Hey, hey, hey what's, what's going on here? Stop it! What are you putting on me? Hey, this is, uh, there, 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 there is definitely something wrong here. Uh, this, is, this is not supposed to, this is not the way the game is supposed to be played. It's supposed to be, Dave, Dave, I mean, attack my killer dog! <laughs> All right, let's get some education in this show. Now pay attention. Here's the North Star. And here's your big dip. This one is your Greek hurry up -us. And this one, well, it's just stupid. Did you ever wonder what goes on inside a hurry up machine? All right, everyone, stand back. I've got this machine totally figured out, and it's going to take me back in time. <laughs> no, Dave, you don't know what you're doing. Go ahead, Dave. I'll be the host of the show while you're gone, even if it is forever. <laughs> I always wanted to be the host of this show. All right, everyone. Goodbye. It's going to take me back 100, 200, maybe even 400 years. <laughs> Dave? 
guess. Be careful. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's gone. He may never come back. Now I must tell the whole world my secret. Yes? Well, you see, Dave and I... Well, Dave to me is the most... Yes? Yes? yes. Oh, he'll be back. Yes. Wow, where am I? E excuse me, where am I? My lord, you're in 16th century England. 16th century England, the hurry-up machine works. This is great. Let's go watch him play games. <laughs> These guys play pretty serious, huh? This is amazing. This must be the place where they play all their games. Let's try and talk to them, maybe play a game or something. Excuse me, sir. Good sets. What strange clothes have these? Such shoes, such shirt. What strange attire? You're telling me I'm attired. I came here all the way from the 20th century. Are you playing games right yes, now? Yes, good sir. The games of spring play we. Say, could you show me some of your other games? These yes, games? good sir. This here be shuttlecock. Shuttlecock? Is it anything like shuttle bus? Shuttle bus, sir. You do have a strange tongue there. <laughs> this be a game most popular in our shire. It is played. Ah, uh, it is a popular game to play with the lass or a wench, good sir. This is probably where our badminton came from. Badminton? He does have a strange tongue, hath he not? What sport is this here? Ah, oh, good sir, this be bandy ball. Bandy ball? Bandy ball indeed, sir. How do you play? If you should place this ball in the hole with fewer strokes than thy partner, sir, you would win the game. That's like golf. That's my specialty. Give it a try. Okay, here goes. Whoa! <laughs> Did I hit him? Okay, now let me show you guys a game that we play in the 20th century. It's called One Potato, Two Potato, all right? Put your hands out like this. Okay, now, one potato, two potato, three potato, four, five potato, six potato, seven potato, or 13 potatoes, one tomato sitting by my bathroom door. Let's try another one. Uh, this one is called Cut It Out, okay? Now you just go cut it out like that. Now, try it with me. Ready? One, two, three. Cut it out. They're getting it. <laughs> this is another game that we play in the 20th century. It's called Pocket Video Games. And this is football. See, you just press these buttons here and they... Oh, the batteries are dead. Do any of you have any batteries? Batteries, sir. What be batteries? Batteries, little round things, they have electricity in them. And what they... be this, sorcery? Are you a witch or a warlock? Uh, no, I'm a, I'm a comedy show host. We have the show out of control, and we're just here having some fun, and I'm, I'm showing them... Sir, take caution, for he shall have thee burned at the stake. Yes, burned! Somebody at out of control, help! Help me! Don't worry. I'll get him back. <laughs> Yay, Dave's back. I've learned my lesson. From now on, I let all the electronic oh. stuff go to Waldo here. <laughs> but Dave, have you seen what else the hurry-up machine can do? Uh-uh. You can play it like a musical instrument. <laughs> you can. Yeah. Try it. Oh, no! Here we go again! Time is it? Now it's contest time. Next super out of control Saturday contest time. Well, what do you say we get this contest underway? Okay, grab a pencil. You got to mail in a postcard for your chance to win a new Cheetos neon watch. Excellent. We'll dress in a second now. <laughs> Clean this mess. Where's that stupid hurry up machine? 